All right, guys, welcome back to tutorial number 33 of the HTML CSS series. Now, so far, we have been writing tags one below the other, and in the browser, they appear in the exact same way, one below the other. But using CSS, it is possible to position the elements according to our liking. And the very first type of positioning we are going to be learning about is the relative positioning. So let's create two simple paragraphs. This is paragraph one, and then this is paragraph two. Now when we save it and reload our HTML page, we have paragraph one and paragraph two, exactly how they appear in our HTML file. Now to specify a relative positioning, let's start by creating a class. Since we've already learned about the class selector, Let's start making use of that one. So dot and then followed by the class name. So let's call this R-E-L-P-O-S short for relative positioning. Now to specify a position, we use the position property. And since this is relative positioning, it is going to take a value of relative. Relative. Now there are two more properties we can specify. The first one is top. Let's say this is how much do we want 100 pixels and left let this be 100 pixels as well and i'll explain in just a moment what that means okay so let's add this dot relps to our first paragraph so a class is equal to relpos so we're going to apply this style to our first paragraph now closely observe we have this is paragraph one over here when you refresh it there you go this is paragraph one has shifted by 100 pixels from the top and 100 pixels from the left and where exactly did it shift from it shifted from its original position or that's how relative positioning works. So we have this paragraph one, which was over here, over paragraph two, and we say that shift 100 pixels from the top and 100 pixels from the left from the relative to the position that you were originally in. So, okay, paragraph one was above paragraph two. So from that position, shift 100 pixels to the bottom or 100 pixels from the top and 100 pixels from the left and it's going to end up in this position. So that's how relative positioning works. In the next video, let us learn about absolute positioning. So thank you guys for watching and stay tuned.